Live from PA TV Studios, it's the Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Good evening, Iowa City. I once read a sign that said, <laughs> come be on live TV, PA TV, <laughs> channel 18. Well, here I am. And uh, tonight, it's the Lyle Style Show. Mm. But in for Lyle Style is Craig Clemens. And my guest is Lyle Style. <laughs> welcome, Lyle. Well, thank you. Welcome, man. That was a good intro. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, this is really kind of awkward and weird for me, right? And, and, and kind, of, kind of really tingling all inside, too, really. Well, I, I, I can understand uh -huh. what that tingling is. It's anxiety <laughs> exactly. and nervous because yes. you don't have a clue of what the questions are I'm going to ask. No, no, no. We're we going to get started, though. Okay, we're going to get started? Oh, we shoot. just finished up the 4th of July weekend. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah. I'm reading in the paper, 50 shootings, 7 deaths in Chicago. Ooh. I know you're from Chicago. Yeah, yes, yes, I am. My question is, oh, do you have God. any friends and family back uh -huh, there? Uh -huh. Is there uh, 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 any news? Have you heard anything? Uh, um, tell me about it. Okay, uh, well, okay, so, hmm, that's a good question too, man. I, see, I haven't been back home in, since the 90s, but um, all, my, all my family has kind of moved out of Chicago, but I do have some, uh, like, cousins and stuff in there. I haven't seen them in a long time, and... Um, uh, they they doing all right. Thank goodness they're not bothering all that craziness, shooting and killing and all that type of stuff that's in Chicago. I mean, the murder rate is is going up in Chicago, unfortunately. I, I know you're not from Chicago. Though. I'm not from Chicago. Spent about thirty years there with the uh, uh, after playing with the Bears. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you, the murder capital used to be Washington D.C., yes. New York, places like that. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine the kind of chaos in some of the communities that's going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, over the weekend, the 4th of July, I mean, that's a time when all the families are getting together. Mm -hmm. They're having good fun. And uh, just wondering uh, uh, what your thoughts were. Well, I think that uh, it, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, uh, Craig, because, um, I mean, it's 2014, and we should be celebrating our our. our Youth are celebrating young people. Young people should be doing great, good things for their lives. You know, um, I mean, you know, we got a, you know, we got African American president. There's no, no, there's no excuse that we should be still doing this, killing each other and shooting each other, and, and there's no excuse for it. Uh, you, we can always follow our dreams, and you're a living example. You followed your dreams and being a pro uh, athlete and playing with the big times with the Bears and stuff like that. So. Man, you know, uh, I just think that we need to uh, have a little more positive role models, you know, for these young people. I think they're out there. I think we need better parents. Okay, well, that's a good so, yeah, um, But okay. also, um, the 2nd of July was the uh, 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. Yes, it was, yeah. Of 1964. Mm-hmm. I'm reading in the paper and looking at some things, and I saw where um, um, they gave the um, they gave a uh, an award, the 50th anniversary, to uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife mm -hmm. in honor of the 50th year of the reunion. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was a more remarkable thing. She's a uh, uh, man, she's an icon and now. Uh, the Kings, I know they, he has a son, he had two sons and one daughter, didn't he? Yes. I, were, were they there? Uh, I don't know if anybody was there, but I tell you what, Claretta Scott King, Yes. she received it in his honor mm -hmm. of, because he is deceased. But right. I'm just thinking now, July 2nd, that's my daughter's birthday. Okay. Um, 4th of July, and then we have all... All these, all these different um, um, shootings and things in, in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking it's a celebration of the, um, of the, uh, uh, of, of the um, Civil Rights Act. Uh, Fifty years. I agree with you. We should be further along. So, what, what's the problem? I have no idea, and we're not going to solve it here. We're not going. I have another question for you. <laughs> 
Hey, we're not going. Wow. I thought we were going to stop it here. Okay. Mm. I, I, I'm, I, I'm coming off a situation where okay. I buried my father oh, in wow. May. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. June, I became 65. Wow. And you don't look at her acting in July, at all. In so. July, they, they are inducting me into another Hall of Fame and giving me some honors in Ohio. In Ohio? In Ohio again. My question is, okay. um, what's your thought process from, is it different from now than when you were 18 or 20? Uh -huh. I'll tell you why I asked it. Okay. At 18, I couldn't wait to leave the city I grew up in. Right. Pickle, Ohio, okay? Yeah. And so, as I go back and I, you know, say some kind words with my, to my father, and I turn 65 and realize that I am turning into my father. Ooh. I'm an old man now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm AARP. <laughs> yeah. I look at things a lot differently. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say this, that you don't look it mm -hmm. and you really don't act it, so, so that, that's good. But, you know, my thought process about it, the question you asked me, is, you know, when I was 18, I was really naive, uh, very, uh, well, naive is what I was very naive, very, very introvert type person. Uh, wasn't outgoing. I mean, I was into sports and out in the streets with my friends and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They didn't have, uh, 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 I wouldn't say structure, but didn't have uh, really discipline. goals. Discipline. Discipline, yeah, or goals uh, in my life, you know. I mean, I had talent in art, but I thought that was just for sissies back then, mm -hmm. you know. Sure. Didn't want to use the talent that God gave me. And so from when I was 18 and all I wanted to do, oh, I wanted to be a police officer. That's what I wanted. I saw the cops and robbers. Uh, I just loved seeing that's that on what TV. That's that what I dreamed dream. of, okay. being a police officer in Chicago. Uh, that's was my dream because looking at television, all the cop shows. And what whatnot. happened? Uh, I think that... Uh, I didn't. I didn't what go to school. What took you off? What took you off at court? Well, I, 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 I got involved with, with, with my, uh, with my, with my girlfriend, with my wife. At uh, uh, back then, she was my girlfriend. She's my uh, uh, that I met in church, and we got together, and you know, from there, I just kind of veered off of that course of being. I just had. To, I, I just got a job and started working, and that type of thing, and just. Being with her, I, she became my um, my 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 goal to a certain extent. You know, to be with who her. Who inspired so, you? Who, who well, who, who inspired me was truthfully when I when I when I accepted Christ as my Savior back then, when I was eighteen. That that was my inspiration, God in my life. So mm -hmm. that right there was a whole different so thing. So you from had being, the Lord in your life. Yeah. You wanted to be a policeman, yep. so you were on the right track. Yeah, on the right track, and but your mind, your attitude was 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 was, was, was right on track. Right on but track. But but something happened. Yeah, something happened. Was I wasn't ready for? It. I didn't think I was. I took it as fun and games being a police officer. It was dangerous yeah. being that. You know, you, I could get killed. You could get killed easy. That that's a dangerous job. But I didn't take it seriously. I took it as a game because I, I saw television and looked at TV and thinking, that's how it is. That's but reality, is. if a guy knew... You what, can solve the crime in 30 minutes, yes. 45, or yes. 60 minutes. Oh, oh yeah, without and it a doubt. always ended in a happy ending. Yeah, yes. You know, you got right. the criminal. Right, you got the respect. Picked up the little girl. Right. Everybody was right. safe and sound. Right, right, right. That's not the way it goes. It's not the way it goes. And Lord knew that if, if he had allowed me to be a police officer back there in Chicago, that I would have been a dead police officer because mm -hmm. I never took it seriously and, and, and I didn't have the discipline to do that type of job. So what did you end up doing? And I'm doing well, and I got married. Where'd you go from there? You got I, married? Got married. Uh, How many children? No kids. No children? No, no kids, mm -hmm. no. Uh, went went to uh, 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 left Iowa. No, I thought he's not left Iowa. Left Chicago, yeah. and we moved out to Des Moines, and hey, we started life in Des Moines for, for a little bit. Worked for a TV station out there. I did security work up This Des Moines, 110 yep, miles away? Yep, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Des Moines, or however, I just say Des Moines, but, you know. State capital. Yeah, state capital. And worked for a TV station out there, and uh, uh, I did my thing, and then we moved to uh, Des How long have you been in Iowa? I've been in Iowa. I, was, I left uh, Chicago in 83, so I've been in Iowa since 83. 
93, 2003, yeah, 30, 32 <laughs> yep, years. Yeah, yep, a long time, years. man. But, you know, uh, through that journey, you know, that uh, I had in, in the course of being, you know, with the Lord, uh, I had my ups and downs. I had my bumps in the road, you know. So I had some bumps in my life, you know. And What and do you mean by bumps? Bumps, you know, you know, you, you get into situations and, you know, in my personal life and things happen. Uh, in my personal life, you have some setbacks. Set, setbacks, you, you yeah. Go through a divorce, you, you, divorce. you go through death. Yeah, you go death, through... yeah. My my dad passed away. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, me, my my well, ex, we get, we got divorced, and uh, okay. she's she's still a good person. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. And um and so, um, you know, you live and learn. I grew up. I was a skinny, immature, uh, now, naive guy. Now, how old are you? I'm fifty five. As a 55-year-old experienced man, yes. how do you look at life now? Oh, my goodness. I, like a 180-degree turn in my life because okay. I'm more mature. I'm, I'm, I don't look my, like myself because I'm more uh, fitter. You know, I'm, I'm, like I grew up more. I'm, I'm bigger than I was. I, I'm not naive. I've, because, of the, because of what I've been through in life, I'm not a naive person. I don't uh, accept things from People to easily trust issues is is there, you know, because you can't trust everybody. You have to learn to look at a situation and to uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, every situation is is, is not uh, the same, and I've learned to and what people tell me. I don't take it as face value, you know. Sure. If they tell me the uh, the the earth is is blue. Well, okay, I don't believe it until I see it for myself. I used to be real naive to believe everything people tell me. I don't because of what I've been through with, with people in my life and things that I've, when I, what, that I've done in my life uh, to make me realize that everything's not black and white, you know. Well, 55, changed man, changed man, saved you know, man. Saved man, yep, thank God. Where do you go from here? Only up. What's the goal? My goal is to uh, to one day to really do my artwork and be into a business, into that the talent that God gave me, and to you know uh, to be artist and to be it to a place where it would make it to a business type thing where I could do something that I enjoy doing what is and the making art? a lot. What is I'm, the I'm specific? A, specific. I'm a I'm a painter, okay. and, I, and I do. A lot of watercolors. Where are and, your and, works? Where, uh, it, well, do my, my, my you work. Have any, do you have no, any? Where's the paper? No, because I, I don't like to talk pa about where's my. Is that where's where, the pictures? It's in stores. I got. I do have a couple of stores that sell my, um, my greeting cards. Okay. Okay. And now on your greeting card, what is on one greeting card? Well, it depends. For birthdays. I do a lot of cartoonish type of art, watercolors, okay. Okay. and they're you know more simple. Uh, cars because my my slogan for my line of cars is called a simple message from the heart. Okay. So it's a simple type of uh, cartoon. Is it more of a greeting card or is there some artwork on it's, the it's front? Art, art, it's artwork on the front. So it's there a could be a horse, there could be a yeah, cartoon, yeah, there could right. be a figure, right. Mickey Mouse or something right. on the front saying happy birthday inside. Right. And some kind of a, a, a saying. Right, right. Some kind of saying, but it's, it's, it's more, uh, it's a simple saying. It's not a lot of words to it, but, but the cartoons match the sentiment on the inside. So uh, uh, whatever, uh, whatever I'm drawing, I, you know, and I do a lot of inspirational cards because, you know, I get my inspiration from God. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of inspirational cards that uh, touch people. Hopefully my goal is to have people read my cards and say, just touch me. Mm -hmm. And they take it and send it to somebody, and that touches. You have person. those uh, cards uh, in yes. the stores. Well, yeah, right a couple. So, yes. Um, any you want to mention? Uh, any? Well, sure. I, I, give yourself I, some publicity. Yeah, well, I don't. Like, I don't camera. like to even talk uh, about. You can't but, have it. I know, but you're, uh, you're spreading the joy yes. and the love. Where are um, your cards? In Cedar Rapids, uh, Fairway Store in Cedar Rapids. Fairway Store in Cedar Rapids. And what? And what? what, what, what city. Oh. Um, Greenleaf note cards. Greenleaf note cards. Yeah, the, yeah. Green. Fairway leaf. stores in Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids. And what about here in Iowa one, City? One in Iowa City. Which one? Uh, <laughs> I was here getting a large. Uh, it's uh, over off of Mormon Track. 
a Mormon track is on Mormon track. That's where the store is. is a, at. It's a fairway store. Another fairway store. Okay. So two so, fairway stores. So you have you have your cards. Yes. In the name of it, your card. Green leaf note cards. Green leaf note cards. A I'm simple message. A simple message simple from the heart. Okay. It's one city because you live in City Rapids. I live in City Rapids. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go to Fairway though. Oh dang. I didn't we have to was business Fairway anyway just to look at the cards. I go see it. Yeah. You know, off of 16th Street. But so, um um. I, I, I want to thank you for, uh, uh, for coming and sharing uh, uh, your time. Is it, it's I, a time I, I, No, no, the no, 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 no time ain't up. up. We, oh, we, we, we might, have, we might have to switch, we might have to switch gears here. Because well, we, I, I, oh, want, sure. I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. Okay, and, and yeah, that's what, wanna, that's what I want to, that's what I want to know. I, I mean, and, uh, I, I like hearing your stories. And, 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 uh, and uh, the weekend of August 29th. Okay. Uh, somebody told, tell me it, Promises to be another exciting chapter in the history of Piqua High School football. Okay, now that's your hometown. That's where I grew up in Piqua, Ohio. Is that a small town? And um, 50, 40, 50,000 people oh, okay. in the surrounding a... area and suburbs. They're going to honor five Piqua High School football players mm -hmm. that went to the pros. Okay. Ooh. I mean, there's a guy by the name of Dave Gallagher, uh, there's Craig Clemens. There's uh, Quinn Pitcock. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Brandon Sane. And there's another guy that I've never heard of. Uh, so I can't even remember his name. I've uh, never even heard of him, but I'm going to meet him. One of the, uh, it's what you it's play very for? unusual what that five for? guys, uh -huh. um, uh, I think he played for Indianapolis, uh -huh. that five guys from one high school into the pros, unless you go to Pennsylvania where you, where you get some... Joe, Joe Namath and people like that. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. on the 29th, uh, we are going to be honored and uh, um, have some plaques and have a big dinner and, and, a, and a big weekend. In wow. Now, Congratulations on that, Absolutely. Though. That's, a, that's a good hop. But what I didn't know is that there's a guy by the name of William M. McCullough, and I've seen okay. pictures of him on the, uh, on, on, on the square, and his name, and I never, I never really um, understood who he was. Mm -hmm. But um, when um, John Boehner was talking about uh, the um, um, Civil Rights Act yeah. in 1964, mm -hmm. and he was giving credit to William McCullough. Okay. And I went on to find out that William McCullough is a protector of the dreams. The protector of the dreams. I've never been um, discriminated against. Mm -hmm. You never had that happen to you? Had that happen to me in Piqua or Iowa. Wow. And You've in 1964, blessed. this act happened. Mm -hmm. So in 1964, I'm in the ninth grade, 14, 15 year old boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, little did I know I would come to Iowa, go to, go to college, and in 1971, so 64 to 71 is how many years? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Okay. Yeah. So seven years after the uh, after, after this act, I go play in a uh, a football game in Montgomery, Alabama, mm. and that's the first time I've ever been discriminated against. Oh, so you had that happen to me? My wife and I are going out uh, now. I'm just coming from Iowa, right? So mm -hmm. it's hot, and I had all these winter clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, in Montgomery, Alabama, it was warm. Mm -hmm. So we went shopping. We went to uh, I think we went to a uh, 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 um, uh, J.C. Penney's or yep. a little thing right around the corner, mm -hmm. and uh, we got in there, and my wife is very, looks white. Okay. So we went in there, and I went shopping. And we were looking around, and uh, the man was very kind. He said, how can I help you? And I said, I'd like to. And he stopped me. He said, she can shop here, but you can't. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, and, and well, this is 1971. Oh, so I go, I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm in Ohio. I grew up, uh -huh. shopped at all the shops in my town, mm -hmm. come to Iowa, shop in all the shops that are here, mm -hmm. Brimmers, all the places. Uh, and uh, it, it took going to... Montgomery, Alabama in 71, in 1971, seven years after the Civil Rights Act was, in, was put into law. Mm. And they were still discriminating against some people down there. Wow. So, so we okay. left and came back home, and little did I know, you know, that this man by the name of um, William McCullough 
was one of the uh, um, starch supporters of the Civil Rights Act from my hometown of Pickwell, Ohio. Oh, so not it? only not only do we have great athletes in mm -hmm. this town, mm -hmm. uh, we have great people with character. And uh, Mr. McCullough had uh, he he was from Ohio's fourth district. Let me get this straight. From 1933 to 1944, mm -hmm. minority leader in 1936, 39. United States Army, uh, 1943 to 1945. He was uh, 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 a great man that um, went on to protect my dreams. Mm -hmm. See, I dreamt of being the um, the um, the football player. Yeah. Okay. Right. And, uh, and 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 the star, and I wanted to be rich and famous. And little did I know, back in '64, when I'm in the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. He helps craft this bill and support this. See, we hear about all the great leaders, the Martin Luther Kings and all the people involved on the front lines. Yeah. The people behind the lines are people like uh, William McCullough. And uh, I just want to uh, uh, give thanks to him. Mm -hmm. And I think that when, uh, when we're honored, I'm going to bring this back up and let people know that um, not only is it good to dream, and the people that inspire you to dream, but the protector of the dreams are very important. And uh, he's one of the ones I'm going to. Uh, well, no one talks about out. that. Yeah. The prote and well, you, you you wanted to be a law enforcement yes. officer. Yeah. And you wanted to protect and serve, so <laughs> yeah. it just reminded me of something like that. Wow. So yeah. I think that's still in you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate uh, uh, you sharing that with me. But yeah. this is something that uh, uh, I didn't know about. And as I get older. And like I said, experiencing the death of my father, you start to think about how, how he protected me also. Mm -hmm. And then we go on and, 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 and look at some of the other aspects of our life. And as I get older, I realize that I didn't get here by myself. Right. I had a lot of help. And like you, I'm, I'm, I'm thanking the Lord that um, uh, I, I grew up where I grew up at, even mm -hmm. though I thought they were all idiots and I couldn't <laughs> wait to get away. Yeah. I'm so thankful I came to Iowa that had mm -hmm. the same values. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no discrimination or racism here. You never experienced that. Never experienced that. that. I mean, wow, you'll, that's, you'll, that's you'll, a... you'll have individuals that, that act like idiots, but not as a collective whole and not as a city or town. I've never lived in a place where I wasn't able to, 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 uh, uh, to eat, mm -hmm. to buy mm -hmm. something. And uh, it's a um, it's a gift, and yeah. I and I understand why the people are at, on the borders of California, coming from Mexico, mm -hmm. wanting to get into the United States. My question to you is: Have you seen that on the borders, immigration, and how uh, there's uh, busloads of of kids that are being brought here? Mm -hmm from um, Mexico and El Salvador and places like this. Mm -hmm. And the people in the cities in California is at the borders are refusing to um, let the buses through so the, so the people could get in. Mm -hmm. What well, do you think about it? Well, you know, it? I think that that's another unfortunate thing because only in this country where you can uh, come here and make your dreams c come true, pursue your dreams and it can have a chance to prosper and come through and be successful. Only in this type of country sure. with democracy that we, we can do that. And and this country is made up of of of, of minorities of, of people, you know. Uh, but we have the, rules. Yeah, we, we have, have rules. Yeah, we have rules. Yeah, we have rules, and everybody we have order. Yeah. Yes, yes. And there's a and, and and there's a process involved with coming from other countries. Right. Yeah, and, and people should go to do the process. You know, people should go through the process. But if you, if, but you know what, if they, people coming in here for the right reasons to 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 try to be better themselves, to make it through, to better themselves, and to be uh, no. beautiful citizens in this country. Here's what's happening? They're sending their kids out. Mm -hmm. They're sending their babies out. Mm -hmm. They're paying money for somebody to bring them across the border, yeah. so that they can experience a better life and either yeah. come back and help or not. Now, they haven't gone through the process. They haven't, they haven't been here. They haven't, they haven't studied the laws. Uh -huh. They haven't uh, um, gotten the education and, and, and gone through the process to become a citizen of the United States. Okay. Now, they're breaking the laws as they come across the border right now. 
Okay. In so the buses. The people that are in these California cities uh -huh. and states are saying, no, the kids are coming here with diseases. It's a health okay. issue. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's unlawful. So, and they're denying them. Okay, so you're not... That's you're not a for, form of discrimination. Well, yeah, yeah that is denying, yes, but um, you can see how, where they're coming from. You can see where the people are, feel that way, how they, where they're coming from, because they're scared. They're going to scare people come in, and they wind up not having anything, because uh, jobs-wise, job-wise. What should our president do? Well, I mean, do what, what, what he been doing, doing what he said he was going to do for, as far as people that's already here, that's legit, that, that uh, uh, proved themselves, you know, that type of thing. You know, they should, so they have, should to, to have a chance. So what should we do with these people that are well, breaking the laws well, trying to come well, into our... That's sad because I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, uh, a very passionate person. And for people, I want everybody to have a dream. I want everybody to have a chance to to to, to be productive, make it but so. But still, we I have, know, we but have, we still have laws and whatnot. So, um, you know, that's up to the law enforcement. That's up, I think law we should enforce them. I want them to come yeah. and I want them to enforce them. But I could not imagine me putting Stephanie, Jennifer, or Jonathan uh -huh. on a bus, yeah, sending them to another country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, got three minutes. Sending them to another country yes. without the protection of the mother and father. Yeah, that's sad, yeah. You and know, the, what's, the kids, going, you know right. what's going on out there in the yes. street. You yeah. know they're going to be abused. Right. And that's, they're going that's to be the, assaulted. Yeah, that's the sad. The kids. I mean, so now, the kids, is, 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 it, 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 is that worth going through to get well, to the United well, States? Well, some people feel, from other countries feel that way dream. because of what they're going through because in other countries... They they, they going through triple times of bad but things. Can we save they, all these other countries? I know, I know we, we, we have can't. two or three minutes we late. We can't. We can't. We can't do it. I, I would like to. I mean, only God could do that. But you know, as us being human beings, we can't. But if we could just help one person at a time, the ones that are here. Yes. In fact, I That's think there legit. were there were like fifty to hundred people that were were sworn in as citizens of the United States on uh -huh. on, on 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 July fourth. Yes. They went through the process. Through the process. They studied that's and right. took the test they and passed it. the test. That's right. And they become citizens. Yes, yeah, right. Congratulations to them. We have order. Them. We have discipline. And I think that we need to enforce the borders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the president's going to have to step up. The yeah. governors and the people on the borders, yeah. we're going to have to, uh, uh, wait a minute. We're going we're, we're yeah. to have to stop this. Right, right. Because I'm telling you one thing, but two wrongs will make a right, you know. You know, I mean... I, I, that's, they should have come here the right way, but the people that's already here should not uh, discriminate against them, should not uh, try to, to make their lives miserable, try to reject them, and that way it should be done in, in, a, in, a, in a civilized, in a caring, and loving way, well, not, you know, not in, in a bad way, because they, they know better than anybody else. Because this country is born against immigrants in this country anyway. We still Everybody have in this country, are in, yeah, we do. It's, it's a, it's a uh, Lyle, I want to thank you. Yes. And uh, maybe you next month. You asked me what my, what my favorite color was, never like that, no, man. No, we, we, we deal with uh, oh, deeper issues. You sure do, that. man. I was going to thought this was going to be a light yeah. conversation, man. But, now I, I, I'm depressed. Hey, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I'd like to say that uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to our viewers, thank you for watching. And... Uh, Come be on live TV, PA TV, Channel 18. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, and I want to say one thing before we go off there. I want to say a shout out to, to my girl. I always do this. Okay. Uh, sweetheart, I love you. I'm a guest on the show, but you know what? Thank you for supporting me and watching me on television, uh, Kathy. And, um, and you you got my heart. And to my mom and my, my family out there, love them. Thank, thank you, Mom, for being there for me and uh, raising me. And all the people that watch the show, I love all of y'all. And I want y'all to do good. Keep styling and profiling. Live. <laughs>